Hello everybody, it's Juliet Crafts so Cute and welcome back to my channel. And here it is, the anticipated box, the book box, okay? What took me so long to get to this was deciding where my napkins were. <laughs> Trying to find it. I found it quite easily. <laughs> but putting it together <laughs> was, you know somewhat of a challenge because of my glue sticks I found I thought I ran out and then I found my yoohoo and I know I have or uhu and I have more of this which I was trying to find I know I want to use these because this is really good but I struggle applying this I mean it's really good but this goes on easy but you do go through it a lot faster and I find that this simple little inexpensive glue that I buy a three pack at Walmart. Go to Walmart now, school supplies are out and inexpensive. And this, I like it, but it seems like this lays down napkin a lot better than this. Maybe I'm not doing something right with this. And, to, and I applied a lot of it, okay? And it felt like it made the paper wet or as opposed to this doesn't feel like the paper is wet um so either way they both work but i prefer th i think i prefer this better and it is a lot less expensive and andrew thank you for your comment and i will work on that affiliates list of the things that i have yes because some of the newbies don't know what the tools are what they're named where to find them um okay so i will get that done okay and so for this project it's file folders and napkins and because i was a newbie and didn't have a lot of supply so this is why i'm making it this way plus i love the fact that it feels like fabric you know once it's on and you know a lot of people can't go out and just buy fabric and then um, use up a whole lot of Fabri-Tac glue which you can find at Walmart also this is where I, I buy mine and it's I was buying it at $9.99 but I haven't had to buy any of late because I still have a couple more bottles of this I bought it when it um, from part of my birthday monies ago and Christmas money I just thought I'm gonna I use a lot of it because I was making a lot of fabric journal, journals so I bought like four of them and I think I've got maybe one or two left of this and I still have pretty much almost a half bottle art glitter glue online um, you can't purchase this in the winter because they will not deliver it because it freezes so if you're gonna buy art glitter glue online in Amazon and I'll put an Amazon affiliation of all the stuff that I have then um, now's the time to buy it when it gets close to winter um, in most places fall when it hits fall before winter they'll stop selling it you won't get it okay in during that time because shipping and it freezes it's no good okay when it thaws out it's just no good okay that's what I heard it's no good when it's thawed out so the company who sell it or those that do sell it in their Etsy stores won't won't um sell this to you be in the winter time because why buy a product and then you get it frozen and then it's worthless when it thaws out okay so anyway i want to show you what i've done i've decorated it and this is artie mays andrea allen's um asian kits and i have add-ons and stuff which i will be using throughout this the bento boxes uh, because i've got one more bento box to make um this one, this is going, This, even though it's a prototype, I have decorated it and made it a lot sturdier, even though um, this portion right here didn't meet up because the spine was too weak. So on this one, I've sturdied it up, so hopefully it'll work. But I've went ahead and made, I dyed this ribbon with this color here and added a little bit of the vintage photo mixed it up in paint and just kind of 
swirled it around and it came got pretty close to the color that I want and I'm happy with it and then I made these paper tassels I extended the ribbon through here and then added um, one of those little crimping things at the end that you put at the end of a ribbon and then I put a uh, jump ring through it because I'm gonna hang charms this is gonna go to my daughter Jessica in Kentucky um, I did this light blue feature because she knows as a kid and for a very long time I guess still now into my adult life this has always been my favorite color light blues I'm telling you I wore all the blues of the family growing up but mostly like my bathing suits you could you could spot me on the beach because it's always light blue you know always light blue and um, yeah so and I love the beach and she loves koi fish um, and so I am dedicating this to her with in my favorite color as a memory so what I've done was I'll show you what I've done and I added something in here whoops let me see let me get it right uh well okay so here is a little paper that I got from my cousin's website um, Kempo is it Kempo um, Karate that my cousin was a black belt and at a very young age and he was undefeated <laughs> for a very long time okay and so anyway here's a I got this map from his site I just printed it out it's Okinawa I had to cut it down quite a bit because I wanted it to fit in here. Um, so this is going to be a memory for my daughter Jessica because, you know, from Okinawa, her grandmother is from Okinawa. My father's from Guam and he met my mother here. So it's kind of special. I mean, memory. So I thought I'd make a little, okay, hang on a second. I'm not going to cry. I just had my mom and dad's birthday was just this past 15th their both birthdays are on July 15th so when I make this book hold on okay I'm back so when I make this book she could either you know put you know all the family's names in there and birth dates and things like that I'm gonna yeah so it's gonna be sort of like a an address book sort of thing um, where to keep in touch with all the family and then um, I'm gonna have a, a longer journal that sits in here and I created this box early this morning I had this thing in my head and so it took me a minute to work out the math for this and I can't show you this because I I've got to put that in, measurement down on paper and make sure make it one more time to make sure that it's spot on because this is going to have a ribbon it'll have like a little ribbon here or here to be able to lift this out okay because what did i where did i put them hang on i should have had this part ready because i'm sure y'all don't want a long video but it might end up being long but it'll be worth it so you put her in here or your dolls your flat pens that you create and then you put this back in here okay so that way they don't fall out see this box will stay sturdy and stay in there and then you'll have like maybe it might be here a little ribbon to open it or here somewhere I haven't decorated it yet but this is already made is all of except for this this will be done in Artie Mae's paper I'll decorate that and then um, I want you to see what this looks like this is origami paper okay so this is her beautiful kit look at that is that not gorgeous this is the pond or the the waterway the ocean where the koi swim so the imagine the koi swimming in here i might fussy cut a couple of these kois and then stick them in here just as a um you know an indication but see i tied the 
the little ribbon element there. Um, I wanted it there because it's so oriental. Um, and then, of course, everybody saw this, but all of this, this paper, is Artie Mays. Oh, beautiful kit. I could never create something like this. Well, maybe I can if I applied myself, so I'll never say never, you know, because when I started out doing this, I thought, no, it's impossible. I'll never be able to do this seriously. I do have my art, artist, artsy fartsy talents, but never did I ever dream that I could do something like this. So for those that are saying, I can't make that, yes, you can. And trust me, when you get into this more and more, creative things are just going to be jumping out of your head and you're going to be running to your desk to try and put this down on paper and then create it. <laughs> Trust me, it'll happen. <laughs> you will have sleepless nights. I have had sleepless nights. I'll tell you why. Just recently, everybody knows I think that my husband got terribly sick. Okay. And I shared that a little bit, and I was like praying and praying. Oh my gosh, Lord, heal him. And God said, no, uh -uh, I'm allowing it. He said quietly, this is a forced stop on your husband because he, if he had his way, he'd keep going and going and going and going until, who knows, drop dead from heat exhaustion or a heat stroke. So it forced him to be in bed and laying and sleeping and you know, me feeding him, nursing him back to help, making sure he eats while he's resting, eating. I just dumped lots of homemade bone broth, vegetable soup, and just got him well. Well, and then by Sunday afternoon, okay, Sunday about 6 o'clock, he said, oh, I feel better. And then by 7, between 7 and 9, he's like, oh, he just got up and about and started doing this. I said, listen, buddy, don't overdo it. I said, why are you putting on clothes? He says, I'm going to go outside. I said, why? <laughs> so I got on him. He says, well, I've got to put a collar on Max. And that's true. He needed a new flea collar, flea and tick collar. So what he did was he let Max out, run around. He's still on an electric collar. And he just, they both hung out on the veranda with the big fan blowing on him. And he just petted him like a kitty cat. And... You know, so he just sat out there, and then when he came in, he was good to go. And I said, wait a minute, buddy. Drink some water. <laughs> Get some more fluids in you. Drink some bone broth. You know, sit down and relax. And, you know, um, yeah. And now he's back to work. Imagine that. God forced him. He put a four stop from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get all that rest. <laughs> Well, what a way to subdue him, right? Well, he didn't allow give him the sickness. What happened was because, you know, for the past two weeks prior, he, weekends, he was out working in the yard, cutting it, manicuring it, and he would come in drenched in his own sweat. So, you know, and he got super tired from that. And I was like, look, dude, keep it up. Your immune system's going to break. I said, your water is essential for everything in your body to function well. And so he just kept at it. I'm like, okay, okay. And then he got sick by, after the 4th of July weekend, that, that week of work, he got it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, so this is what that looks like. Look at that. All of it's been decorated. So yes, it started out as a kind of flimsy because it's file folder, right? But when you start adding your paper, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So I love how this doesn't look like it's a brand new, looks kind of rustic. I've got a vintage did up with some distress ink and right here, I'm going to put something in Japanese writing. It might be my daughter's name, something. No, I don't write Japanese, but I'll probably look it up and then cut it out and then put it on here. <laughs> I might say something right here. But that's it this only strip right here i'm going to leave the rest and then i still haven't decorated i'm making a for the journal it's going to be a out of Artie Mays paper in the still light blue fashion manner it's going to be a and i'm going to print it out on what do you call that tracing paper 
and it's going to be a soji screen journal for her so when she opens it up it'll be a soji screen well she'll see this little booklet first okay see that just fits right in there and then right here because I didn't I've already made the box I had to punch a hole here and here and I can't put in eyelets because my neither one of my my eyelet setters will work for this so I'm just going to string some jute twine it's colorful jute twine I think it might be I might go gray I'm not gonna do black in this but I'm gonna do gray maybe or maybe in something like this color this darker like turquoise color yeah and then that's and then I'll probably hang when that string okay let me back it up I'm gonna string it through here one end and one here when it's coming out I'm going to hang and a uh, charm off of it so when this is closed and this oh she's looking at it like this there's gonna be a charm okay and over here I might have something I don't know if I'm gonna put a charm there it just might be um, just a knot it might be just a knot and I'm gonna string it underneath and bring it out this way and then hang the charm or whatever I'm gonna make for it okay so let's get started okay because I think I've wasted enough time talking up oh, that's my husband hold on okay let me get this out of the way now what I did I the reason why I'm showing you this I'm gonna show you how to prep everything but I when we when you cut out all your pieces you want to go ahead and figure out right now before watch the video till it ends get all your get all of your whatever you want to decorate your file folder with preferably not a file folder because you know that middle you'll have to reinforce it like I did what I did to mine where it is where it is where it is it's right here oh it's upside down and I took the time and I this is going to my grandson his name is DeAndre but I put Dre because he goes by Dre and I took this piece I cut fussy cut out of the napkin can you imagine that's a napkin it's but I painted over it to make it um, let's see okay this is what this looked like this crab these crabs is that let me show you so for those that say well I can't draw find something decorative put it on there and then take out some watercolors and paint it you know change it up a bit okay and that's if you want to and if not let's cut something out like flowers and I use triple thick for this embossing powder and what I did oh and you guys if you don't have one I would this is Ranger this is an embossing pen emboss it so what I did was I colored in after I painted it let it dry then I marked all over it it marks out gray so you know where your coverage is that's the beauty of this pen so when you have a beautiful floral napkin okay and then you fussy cut it and you write in you color in with the embossing powder it's gonna look gray but trust me it's not gonna stay gray because once you put your clear embossing powder your triple thick ultra thick is what it is um, this was $12.99 and I bought this gosh I don't know three Christmas ago and look at I still have all that left okay not even three Christmases ago I take that back it's late 2019 20 21 22 well yeah okay so that and then this one I painted hand painted myself what I did was I took you know when you fussy cut an element out and it well it leaves that white paper behind the part of the layer of the tissue well I just laid that white tissue down to give it an outline and then I took my distress ink and I distressed it to give it a pop so I know where because once you glue that down it almost becomes invisible so what I did was I I needed that 
vintage photo because that vintage photo was going to be a part of the coloring. If you see that lighter coloring in there, that's the vintage photo. So it allows for different um, uh, effects, you know, so it's giving it a 2D, 3D type of effect. And then uh, what I love about this triple thick, this is only one layer. When you lay it down, it has all this bubbling. Let me see if you could notice that. See that? See how gorgeous? It actually looks like the top of a crab and then the texture of a shell. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is my spine. This is the interior. And this is going to lay in here. It's going to have two boxes. This is the other box right here that's going to go on the side. I haven't folded it because I'm going to show you how to do this, but on plain file folder so you can see. Now, if you have a 12 by 12 card craft stock, better yet, for the cover, when we, when you do the cover, glue two pieces of card stock together, or card craft, and use if you're using decorative paper, double-sided decorative paper, do two. Glue two of them, okay, 12 by 12s together. Trust me, you say, no, I don't want to waste it, but you're going to use all your scraps to decorate your, and put elements in it, like tags and things like that, into your make, okay? Your scraps can turn into flat pens, okay? So if you're wanting to know how to do that, you can visit my devotional journals series where I think in the heading it says flat pens so you'll see how I make the flat pens and then what you want to do once we get all everything cut out you want to take the time before you start folding and, and um, scoring get all your pieces done cut out then cover them use your napkins or decorative paper okay i'm using napkins here and it's because i'm showing a lot of the newbies that say i don't have many supplies go and get some napkins at the dollar tree they're a dollar each and this is a fishing one my my daughter told me that my grandson deandre has been fishing in the backyard in their little river um so he's been getting into that and some his uncle's been taking him out fishing. I supposed to think he went to like a huge lake just this weekend. So he's getting into fishing. So this is why I was thinking, what can I make for my grandson? All the girls are getting something, but he's the only boy. And he is um, going to be 15 in December. And so what can I make him that's not childish? That's not kiddish. That's, you know, apropos to his age. You know, and so he can put all his fishing pictures with his uncles and whatever pictures that are taken of him while he's fishing can go in here. And you'll have a little journal on this side also to write, oh, I went here on this date and this and this is, oh, and I met so-and-so and here's his phone number. You know, that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and once I show you how to cut them out. Okay, well, we'll do some scoring, actually. We'll have to do some scoring. Yeah, and then you can just decorate it, okay? So let me go set this aside. We'll revisit this in a minute. Okay, so for me, I needed three of these, okay? Because I don't have 12 by 12. Where is my... I need my little cutter here. Hang on just a second while I prep this desk. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. What I had to do is clear this side so that the arm of my Cricut cutter, and this Cricut cutter I got at Walmart. I uh, found this years ago. Still very well. Always keep a little water in case I need to do a quick watercolor. Always ready on hand. Um, so you take your file folder, oh, if I can separate them. Okay, for those that know me, my hands don't work that well. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on one at a time. Okay, so if you're working from a file folder, okay, 
then you want to cut this. I'm um, reading my notes because I wrote them down. Um, yes. You want to cut this down five and seven eighths. You know why? Because we need an 11 by eight and a quarter. I mean, we need an 11 and three quarters. See, that's why a 12 by 12 would work, okay? Because we need a width of 11 and three quarters by eight and a quarter, okay? So for me to cut this out, to have, when I open this up, I it will be 11 and three quarters. If I cut this right here, five and seven eighths, okay? So I'm gonna cu cut this at five and seven eighths. And keep these because you're gonna use these for some other pieces parts, okay? You will need them for, if I can, the these you need two of these and this okay because and i put three file folders together so it's sturdy so while you're opening and closing this will not stress out it should last for a long time okay and i did that for these okay so three of these this is going to be i'll tell you the measurements in a minute so now if i'm going to open this up I should have 11 and 3 quarters. I mean 11 and 7 eighths. And I have 11 and 7 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. It is 11 and... Actually 11 and 7 eighths is 11 and 3 quarters. Okay. So. Not all file folders are correct. But it's, it's there. Okay. So just... Get these cut out. That's one. Five and seven eighths. Five and seven eighths. Ugh. Okay, if everybody's wondering what that is, oh, I scratched it to death. I am an itchy comedina. If I have an itch, I will scratch it to death. Oh my gosh. I will. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I don't get poison oak out here. Oh boy. I'll be hospitalized for sure. Because I will not stop scratching. I, tr you know. <laughs> okay. Here's a word. Akabe. My mother gave me the nickname Akabe. Because I was, I had was allergic to I find out later in my adult life okay my adult years now we want to cut this I want to turn these and cut this to eight and one fourth eight and a quarter eight and one quarter right there if you do not have a cutter do not worry about it use your if you have a mat everything that i this is at i got from walmart this i had to order online it's ek success ek tools okay and i'm mentioning this because of andrew and i'm sure many other newbies um andrew requested i put an affiliate link so eight and a quarter oh i almost cut that at eight that would have been a mistake right okay save all your little eight and a quarter so there's eight and one quarter okay so now we've got three of these let's just get these right here because we're not done cutting now i'm going to take these guys these guys <laughs> these papers and i am going to i'm going to cut away at these ends real quick because it just interferes that little don't throw these away because these are sentiments you can stamp something and put it on i'm just cutting away these little curvature thingies because i need a straight edge and we need three of the long ones and six 
of the short ones, okay? To build the strength of... And these have got to be one and a half in width. There's my one and a half right there. One and one half. That's one. One and one half right there. Get that straight. I've got to use these. I can't use scissors, guys, because it's in my hands. So there's... Let me cut this end off. Otherwise, I would show you on my cutting mat. I'm just trying to... Because I've been prepping and painting and doing stuff. I could feel my hands and a little bit of a fatigue. So I'm going to cut this at one and a half. So now I've got my three strips to cut out my, and we need th these strips. Let me see if I can cut three at a time. Okay, we need seven and six eighths, and this we already know is one and a half. So we need to cut these strips down to seven and six eighths. Seven. Seven and six eighths. Okay. Look at all these wonderful scraps. You could use tiny little tags, tiny little tags. These could be tags, tags that you dangle off of your your box. It can be. So I did three. So now let's get some more strips here. We need two of these. I mean, we need six of these. Okay. Oops. That one. See how simple this is so far, you guys? Right? Right? And just watch when you see the scoring, too. Easy peasy. The structure is very sound and easy, okay? Yes, this video will be long, but it's worth it because you Christmas is coming. Plus, you know, I mean, yeah, birthdays. Everybody has birthdays sometime in the month. You know, oh, my shawl is getting caught. Oop, that was crooked. I felt that that was crooked. Okay. Let me go that way, right there. And we need two more of these strips. I can line that up. Okay. At one and a half. And then we're going to cut these down. We're going to cut these strips down to, oh, let me remeasure it because I had to alter it. Where, where would it go? Where would it go? Right here. I think these are going to be three and, nope. This is going to be four and one eighth. One, two, three, four and one eighth. We need four and one eighth. Four and one eighth, right there. One. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of these for right now, clear up my desk, so I can, oh, boy, oh, boy. oh this is closed. okay, 
So now we have a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six of these, okay? Now, when you have six, four and one eighth inch, four and one eighth inch of these, what you're gonna wanna do is decorate everything. Decorate every piece that you have, all your strips in what you want to do. So let's, okay, see I decorated it front and back. Napkins, glue stick. You want to reserve one. This is going to be one of these out of the three is your jacket. So you set that aside and let's start scoring. Okay easy peasy right where's my third little thingamajigger guy okay did I lose one oh can't lose it I need him where'd he go where'd he go one two where'd he go oh my gosh I lost one how hold on guys Oh my gosh, all that fussy looking at finding it was it ended up being underneath this, but this paper, but I wanted to show you something. This is what I took off those ends when I had to redo the measurements. Look at this little sliver. If you want to laugh at me, you can if you want to. See this? Turn that around. You see that? This is going to be a part of the samurai sword that I'm going to create for my geisha or my samurai to hang off his belt. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just thought, well, might as well. It's kind of thick already. I was going to have to do it anyway, so I already got it. So hopefully I won't lose them. Okay, let's get to. We need. We're going to create these boxes. Okay. So, take one, open it up on the 11 side. Then you're going to find how easy this is. Easy breezy. Let me get that pencil. I've been looking for that pencil. Okay, I'm just going to straighten out that line. Okay, it's bugging me. That's that score line. And you see that fold right there, right? If you're going to use file folder. Okay, I sh showed you this, right? I did another, another file folder. But in the center, I took one of my scraps and cut out a, a long strip of a half inch by eight and a quarter. And I put it on the spine. So... If you're using it, you want to go ahead and lay that down. Put on that spine or the, yeah, the seam a half an inch by eight and a quarter. That way, when we go to fold, hopefully, I'm, this is, I'm winging it now because I'm hoping it's going to do the trick by me reinforcing this with one of those long little half inch strips. Then I applied the second, this other part. I cut this out. This is. Let me measure it. This is one. Okay, there's the five inch. One, two, three and one eighth. This is a three and one eighth spine. You don't have to do this now, okay? You don't have to add this piece, but I want mine to look like a book. So when you're, you know, of course you've seen, I've got this right here. That's what I want it to look like. I want it to look like a books you know a spine so adding this on top of this so there's three layers so there's the first layer of file folder then that strip file folder and then this hopefully that will prevent it from this was my problem if I wanted my box to close up right this is the way it's supposed to look but it's laying flat if it's done right and sturdy because the spot the crease is right there I did not reinforce it so it won't stay out poofed out like that because it's supposed to stay poofed out okay let's get this over her 
and get the simple thing done. All you're doing now, you're going to score it. Don't want that one, no. I want this one. I need to get one of those bone folders. Now, this is 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. You're going to score it half, one inch, not half, one inch, two inch. Turn it, one inch, score, two inch, score, three inch, I mean three inch, one inch again, two inch, turn, one inch, and two inch. Okay? Then, provided, I'm not going to go ahead and do all of these because I'm showing you could do two pieces like this. The third one is your cover. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to cut this out. It's like, remember that game Tetris? Yeah, we're going to play some Tetris right now. We're going to remove... We are going to This is what this should look like. Oops. 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 Hands, hands, hands. They're tired. They're tired. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to cut, start here, we're just going to, for the sake of going like this and that, just go ahead and cut all that off. Okay. And that's what that should look like. See that? You're going to do that to all of your sides. How's everybody doing? How y'all doing? I'm doing good, considering my weekend was very busy. <clears throat> While my husband was resting, didn't have any music, no TV going on, because I needed to listen out for him. Yeah, had to make sure that Hubba Dubba was okay. Yeah. So it was very quiet. So I had to Okay, now now that we've got those cut, right? This little box, four corner box, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come against this right here and we're gonna go here. And then you're gonna just miter it slightly. Mitering is just cut, cutting a small angle. Not a huge angle. Ay ay ay. See my hands. Just small. Slice this up and come over here and cut that out. And then cut this out. Okay, turn it over. Come to the end. Small miter there. Small miter there. Small sliver. Small sliver, and then <clears throat> on these outer flaps, you just want to do that too. Just a small, not so much, just enough, just a small sliver, okay? All right, just small, like a not even a hair, but I mean, a little bit more than a hair, a few strands. <laughs> See that? 
See how thin that is? Okay. Okay. Let me get this taken away. Ugh. Let's just take this away. <clears throat> I have a container for all my little scrappy bins for this project. <clears throat> For the whole Oriental series project that I've been working on. Okay, now let's go ahead and fold everything. Just fold everything, start creasing everything. Okay, if you don't have a bone folder, that's what they call it, Andrew. Bone folder. I just, this was from a, my envelope punch board because I lost mine. How can I lose it? This crap. Well, no, I take it back. I've had to pack up room so many times because of family coming to stay for a while. Um, so make the, turn this room into... If you've seen my video that I shared in my Facebook group at Gillette Edwards, go to my... Facebook, Gillette Edwards, and the group is called Junk Journal Depot. Woohoo! All aboard! And then um, I posted a video of my messy craft room. But if you see the, the dressers and stuff, I have a huge queen bed that matches this. Huge. <laughs> Ginormous. Um, but I... I'm using this as my office, my craft room. Okay, so now we're gonna have fun gluing this together. Now, m keep in mind, before you start, get all your pieces cut out, okay? Score these guys and then lay it out flat and decorate it. Put your background paper, or put your background paper on it. Both sides now, okay? So if you used a single-sided decorative paper, great. Don't waste your double-sided decorative paper. And then decorate the inside. And then, you know, while it's cut out, then score all your lines. Easy peasy. Half an inch. I mean, not half an inch. One inch, two inch. Turn. One inch, two inch. Turn. One inch, two inch. Turn. One inch, two inch. Okay? Now let's glue. So we're going to... I'm going to use this because my... What you call it? My Fabri-Tac glue is a little fussy. It's thick. Wants to just come out like thick snot. It's probably too long. Okay, now hold that down. Glue, glue, glue. Hold it down. Glue all your pieces down, okay? Trust me, you're going to want to be making a lot of these. Can you imagine? In my head, I'm working out the measurements for a smaller one of these. Because imagine stacking them up like faux books on a shelf huh? and you've got hidden stuff inside right yeah yeah or if you have grandchildren this is probably for mothers like we have jewelry and stuff you can make a book box just for each grandchildren daughter special jewelry that you want to give each and every one of them put it in there so then you know when we go home to the Lord you have little specific boxes for each child, right? Yeah. You know, the things that DeAndre is going to be inheriting can't fit in the box. I mean, some things. But no. From Poppy? Mm -mm. They're huge. Can't fit in the box. Yep, yep, yep. All the girls will have, you know, all of my things, of course. And I don't know now, now that you've got all these glued, let's get to these flaps here. Let's glue these flaps. You feel how sturdy those are already? Now, keep in mind, <laughs> yours is going to be very thick. If you use a file folder and then put decorative paper over it or use Cardcraft, which is Cardcraft is, Andrew, it's a... I have the thing that I right here well i it right here it's craft 
smooth cardstock and this stuff is thick there's 50 sheets at Walmart this is eight and a half by 11 11 and then I usually get the 12 by 12 I'm out of the 12 by 12 I looked at one Walmart some one side of me none I think try on the other side the right of me is going to have it because they usually have a larger department of craft stuff not Lafayette but I know I'll find this in the other one I just haven't been able to go because hubby was sick and so this is what this is card craft 50 sheets this is five dollars good deal because I'm telling you it is a good deal the other 12 by 12 is also five dollars great deal sturdy I think sturdier than the file folder but then again I'm using inexpensive lower end quality files because you can get some really thick files okay so you just match up just match up those corners see how well those corners match up can you guys see that see see look at how well it just matches up right hold it down hold it down get the glue stuck okay since I'm doing this, this is going to be another book uh, this will be for my daughter Erica my oldest one she's been wanting a mermaid one and I've been work gathering all her stuff because she loved Little Mermaid you know the Little Mermaid ah, 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 ah. yeah Little Mermaid <laughs> and Bambi she loved Bambi and Little Mermaid okay I've matched line those up carefully now if you're not used to doing this guys if this is your first time go slowly I'm going a little bit faster just because I think I can do this almost blindfolded now <laughs> but just take your time and match them up okay and that's the box hello look at that this is that and again see what I did was I didn't I just covered the napkin I should have covered the whole side of the back side I wasn't thinking so mine are a little exposed I'm gonna cover that patch it up with some napkin right there I'll just probably put a long piece there and a long piece there but cover that's what I'm saying cover it because you know I know you probably don't want to waste this we won't see this but it'll help it adhere to the the jacket okay so that is that you guys make your boxes and then now I'm going to show you how I put this together okay so let's just say that you guys already got it done you guys are just so did I just move my camera yep I did okay let's just say you got it all done oops no I didn't okay see what I mean with this one I didn't do this I didn't cover it all so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to have to score this again because I covered it it's a little bit thick now with the napkins so I just want to make sure that okay starting at the 11 side it didn't matter because the score lines are there you just kind of have one inch two inch I'm just kind of bringing back the memory of the lines one inch two inch Oops, come on one inch two inch oops see that went off track go slowly I have not seen a I have not seen one of these scoreboards in Walmart I've been looking but you know what you never know the one in to the right of me the Walmart there they brought in a sort of big shot like it's almost like the Tim Holtz big shot you know or Sizzix big shot my goal is to get me for Christmas my husband wouldn't buy the Christmas in July so I have to wait for December for my big shot plus okay now I'm gonna have to just carefully bend these over I don't want to get them out of wonky I don't want them to get wonky so I have to score this so see I'm from decorated paper okay score up and see how thick it is 
Look at how thick that has become. Ideal, hasn't it? Did I get that right? Make sure that those are sharp, okay? Because it's got a little hefty weftiness to it. It's a little hefty now. Which is what we want. This is for DeAndre. He's been at football practice. Can you imagine Kentucky? It's hot like Georgia. He's been out. I mean, he's been on the field. Football practice. They ended weight training and now he's um, they're on the field practicing. School is about to start next month. And he is being trained as a running back. Wide receiver. Um, so they have been, they took the quarterback and DeAndre to a football, like a special, just them, those two, camp that they set up, a special camp, went to some sort of college campus. And yeah, so he's, he's tired and he's saying, oh, every day, oh, I don't have to get up because that heat, I just told my daughter, you make sure my grandson is loaded up with water, not that Gatorade stuff. Uh-uh. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Sure is. That stuff crystallizes in your kidneys in your gallbladder and it's a number one like a culprit to um, liver failure so if you know anybody that likes to drink that stuff tell them to knock it out of their diet get it out out I say out okay that Powerade Gatorade for electrolytes is a bunch of BS. Now all these little decorative pieces now, whew, save them, okay? Save them, save them, save them. Look at this for example, that shell. That can be something I can add like little dingle dangles. Dingle dangles. So what else? Did I start saying something? I have I'm famous for starting to say something and not finishing it, I've noticed in my videos. So I've been busy. So after ha my husband being sick, you know, I've got to call my daughter Jessica and let her know I'm going to, I'll know in about seven days from Thursday. My husband had a high fever. When he came home, I was saying that in one of my videos that when he got off work, he was afraid to drive home, which is not something usually something that he normally says now, okay? My husband's fearless. He's a Marine, Charhead. One tough but awesome dude. He, I, I should have been a Marine. I wish I was well, married to one. I was a military brat, so I guess that's pretty close. Um, but yeah, I would have been. A, remember that movie Mash? Mm -hmm. I wanted to be that. I wanted to be in that Mash unit. That's what I wanted to be. Um, and then we're going to take a sliver here. I'm just kind of taking my slivers off now, guys. Yeah. So for him to say that got me worried. From day one that we've met, there is not a day that he does not call me like clockwork. Oh my gosh. From day one when we met, 
I never had to, except if I went to um, to the store by myself. And usually then I'm not buying a whole lot of groceries, but we do a lot of our grocery store shopping, like at Costco and Sam's. But from day one, since I've met him, I've never had to unload anything. He just says, I'm going to hand it to you. I said, okay. And then I put it up, you know. From day one, every time we walk, like on the sidewalk, he always pushes me inside of the sidewalk. He never wants me out on the outside of the sidewalk. When we're walking in the to the grocery store, he does the same thing. He pushes me in towards the vehicles, not in the middle of the road. But even then, he is watchful. My goodness. And... Okay, I cut that in the to make sure I cut all my slivers. Nope, I didn't do that one. Day one since we met. Same call on the same time of every day. Did I cut them all? Did you cut your slivers all? Make sure. It's very hard to tell when you're working with pattern paper, right? So all that's cut. And what else? The man can do anything. I don't have to take my car to a... I drive a Subaru. He drives Toyotas and Fords. And... There's only one time when we had a Toyota Corolla before we gave it to our daughter. I had, we had to go and replace its motor because something happened to it. That's about it, because he can't replace a whole motor. I mean, he probably could if he was facilitated here on the property, but I don't encourage it. He's got way too much stuff to maintain. Like a huge tractor, all those things. Oh my gosh. You name it. A hey, woodcutter, wood splitter. Before he was doing it all by hand. And finally, I said, okay, that's it. I'm just going to have to go get it myself, because he's not going to do it. I said, you're not getting any younger, dude. And then I said, if you don't do it, I'm going to do it. And so he went and did it. Because I said, look, if you do not do it, I am going to do it. You want to leave it up to me to do it? No. So he did all his, you know, research on the ones that he's wanted. Yeah, don't leave it up to me. Because, you know, I'll get duped. They see women coming. And unfortunately, that's the truth. They'll sell you anything. So. Yeah. So he finally got that wood splitter. Now it's helped him. Thank God. Whew. I mean, my goodness. I'm, oops, I still need that. So here's my box. I'm going to show you how to put it all together now. Okay, so if you guys want to stop and get your stuff together, go ahead and get it together and start cutting your stuff, decorating it. Everything lines up perfectly. Trust me, you guys. It's just you to make sure that you line them up very straight, okay? It should meet up just perfectly. Yep, and this video is now one hour and four minutes in. And I forgot to stop it to make two videos. Well, you know me. It's just typical of me, right? Yeah. Well, you guys can always fast forward if you need to. Okay. I just can't help myself. Sorry, I just get so lost in this. Cap. There. I heard you. I heard you. Put that cap back on. 
I heard you. Okay, so these are completely identical. So now I have my cover, right? These are completely identical. So it's just like, mm, I've got to cover these. See how they're identical? Okay, so I'm going to do it to this box. I'm gonna have, since this one's done, I'm going to show you. We're going to put these guys in now. Oh, once you get everything decorated, you can use a half inch or a quarter inch. I like the, quarter, the half inch corner rounder. And this is it by We Are Memory Keepers. And I purchased this at Hobby Lobby. Now, you can order it online, but I think I got it so much cheaper at Hobby Lobby at your craft store. I don't know if Michaels has them. I, if you're across the pond, I don't know exactly where you would your whatever craft store or order it online. Um, it has the half inch and then the quarter inch. I use the half inch, and you just stick your your thing in here and just munch them, crunch them, munch and crunch away. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Munch and crunch. Crunch and munch away. Let me double check this one. Okay, that's done. You just set it at an angle and it's done just like that. And it cuts out thicker pieces. Now, if you do not have it, take a quarter or nickel actually and put the nickel in up to that corner and then draw a pencil on it line and then cut it out with your scissors okay and you do that with all your edges use a a nickel not a dime but a nickel i think a nickel would give you that would give you that okay all right so now this is how i do it so i know whoop, it's going like this let's put these together i want my fish orientation this is my fish it's going in like that my fish so I am going to just glue I'm gonna glue this whole bottom piece right here oops did my head get in that shot head full of gray hair but I don't mind I've been waiting for it been waiting for it all to grow out it started off me having this stripe in the back of my head yes look like a skunk so I was dying it dying my hair until oh, I better move this out of the way dying my hair until okay come on I want to get this down I want to make sure that it looks really good see and just Use your bone folder or your fingers. I can't use my fingers, so I don't have the strength to do it. Just like that. Beautiful, huh? Okay. Now, determine which one, whatever your pattern paper, or if it's not anything that you're going to, you'll be able to. Okay, did I... I, think I did it this way yeah so there's my orientation of that fish and then there's that fish here at the bottom okay <clears throat> so turn this over yikes <sighs> so when I wasn't making any plans, I'm making plans to go and see the grandbabies before they start school. Victoria will be starting school. Bikini garden. Oh my gosh. My goodness. That poor child. Well, I should say poor teacher. Um, uh, Victoria is very smart. She has full conversations in her word usage. Uh, you don't hear kindergartners talk like that. She will say, Nanny, 
Okay? This is when she was like three. Nanny, don't you think that's just exceptional? Like, and I, my jaw drops. I'm like, yes. And my daughter goes, Mom, she talks just like you. Well, she should because she hangs out with me, right? And when I'm with her, I try to talk to her in ways that she has big vocabulary. So one day, um, she we were drawing. She was drawing, and she goes, Nanny? I said, yes. Yeah. She goes, look at this. I said, great job. She goes, don't you think it's exceptional? <laughs> three. Not even three. But younger, she was, oh my gosh. It would, people were always, when they start saying, hi, how are you? You are so beautiful. And she says, well, thank you very much. But I'm not supposed to talk to you because you're a stranger. That's exactly what she says. Yep, that's Victoria. Now, and then the the grandmas or whoever say, oh, well, my apologies. She goes, I accept. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I laugh at it because it's adorable. You know, because one thing that, you know, when we moved from Okinawa, then to Guam, and then to stateside, to the mainland, Okay, when we got here and we started education, unfortunately, I wish I spoke three languages, but no, my father would not have it. He says, you're an American citizen. When you're here, the only language you speak is English. And I think it had a lot to do because in the 70s, post-Vietnam, you know, um, my dad... I guess wanted us to prove that we were American citizens, that we spoke very good English. We wrote it, we spoke it, we wrote it, spoke it, read it, write it, say it. That's it. Read it, write it, say it. That was it. Read it, write it, say it. That was my dad. Read it, write it, say it. I'm like, ooh, yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. What bridge did you want me to jump off now, dad? <laughs> you know, but no, I'm grateful for that over the years, especially moving here in the South. My English has become a lot sloppier. But every time, you know, like my daughter Claudia, I mean granddaughter, oldest one, well, you don't sound like you're from here. And she's been here for almost all of her life in Georgia. And that's because she, they lived with mom and pops for a while. So, and especially me, because pop's always gone. Pop's a southerner. He's from here in Georgia. But he also, but I mean, she hung out with me. And I only, with her, read it, write it, say it. If you're going to speak, you will use proper English, you know. And since I'm alone, I can get away with being sloppy. Okay, so now, this corner edge. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm not doing... Did I do a half an inch? I did half an inch, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do use my half an inch corner rounder. I want to get that in place first. So if you're going to do your corner rounding, get that done first before you start laying down your... Uh, okay. I just thought, well, it's old. It's had a lot of use cutting through chipboard. My chipboard is cereal boxes, guys. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's broken. Oh, no. What to do? What to do? Well, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What am I going to do? Wait, is it full? Sometimes you got to remember, open up this little lid, and check it to see if it's full. Maybe it's because I've been using a lot of gluey stuff. Okay, let's hopefully this works. Ay, that hurt my hand. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. Oh, because I used the quarter. I am a dingbat. Just say it. No. Oh my gosh, my half inch one is not working. Wait, why? Why?
David. Oops, he's not home. Honey pot's not home. Okay, it's worked. It was clogged. That's why. So make sure you guys unclog. So I am now. Now laying down your boxes, you're going to have to take your time. Do it very carefully. Cause, and then I go turn it around. And I just do it the other way. Just for, you know, the sake of it to make sure. Okay. Just, just let me do that now. Okay. Okay. It's going to take better care of me. Oh. You know, I was thinking about doing, getting those corner rounders that are just the corner ones, but I can't, maybe for like cardstock, but when you're doing something thick, impossible. Now, before we lay the boxes down, one crucial step too is rounding this off, okay? Because if you see this, this is not round, okay? And I'll show you how to round this, okay? Now, you have your score lines, okay? Got your score lines. Did I put this on correctly? Yes, I did. Woo! Thank God. I use this because I don't have anything else that I can use that's... Ooh, you can use a scissor. So what you want to do is you want to come around, make sure it's smooth, and just start manipulating your spine area this area to bend okay because what you want mine's going to be a little bit tougher because I've added these but you could see as I I've already just in that little bit it starts to round it then I use this because I can hold it better but use anything and I'm just see where my score line is I'm not going to go beyond it I'm going to try and just manipulate it up to that crease and that's it and I'm going to show you why what the beautiful effect this thing gives when you're um, you know what I wish I had underneath here I don't know if this is gonna well let's see I brought my foam out but I wish I had a mouse pad let me see if this is gonna help yeah possibly it won't kill my yeah it's good it's not gonna kill my my little work out here okay so design your, if you're going to just go straight to car, the craft card, you, um, and you've got it decorated, you won't need something like this unless you want that feature, okay? This is just optional, okay? Um, what else? See, it's creating a curvature what I want I want that curve and just slowly manipulate if this is not here this all these will have these like sort of what do you call that that hammered metal look to it and it gives it let me see was it on here no it didn't come out very well on there it didn't press it too much I should have well anyway you see the curve see the curve that's what you want because remember in this one I did not get that curve because there was that crease that crease prevented it from holding so I'm just gonna keep on doing this until I know that it's manipulated where I want it especially where it but near that crease if you can see, let's see, I can bring you in a little bit closer because you can't really tell with this napkin. See, here's my, oh, oh, oh. let's see, let me see, let me find it, let me find it. Right there is my crease, right? And I'm only going to this point right there. So you don't need to have this tool. I just don't know what else to, get, to compare it. Um, to use I mean you no not a bone folder you need something a little bit smoother like hard scissors like this because it's got a smooth end here but I can't 
do that. The scissor alone is really heavy. It's an industrial scissor. My husband brought me some dull ones home that they were just going to toss in the trash because it won't cut scissors. I mean, cut carpet. He's a supervisor at a dye house. And when they have to cut some carpet pieces, trim stuff off, and if it's not cutting, they go and get a brand new scissor. And he just brings this home because when he brings it home, whew, cuts them through paper like nothing, you know? So for me, it's super, super duper sharp. Super duper sharp to cut card craft using, because I use cereal boxes for my chipboard. I try not to use it too much. That's why I got an industrial cut, cutter for Christmas. The big rotary, Fisker's rotary. I love it. Which the next project that I'm going to be showing you guys, you're going to want to stay tuned for that because I have something pretty awesome. Okay. You're going to want to do this. So I've been working out that those measurements and finding, getting my cereal boxes out so I can cut them. Okay. See? See now? There we go. Look at that. That's a good bend, right? Oops. Let me zoom you guys out. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at that. That's almost there. I just need to get this to come in a bit more. Because remember that half inch piece that I put in there needs to get manipulated into a corner, like a bend. So it's thicker, so I'm going to apply some more weight. As much. See? It's already bending. Look, look at that. Mm -mm. And then we'll glue the boxes in. It's like, you know, using those paper, doing those paper flowers. You start rolling it and the little petals start curling. Well, that's what this does to this. Okay, I think I like that bend. I think I like it. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. Okay, we'll start there. Okay, now, yes, it's a little teeter-tottery, but we're going to glue the first piece. Now, your score line is where you put your box not on top of it but since you're working on the right side you're going to put it just beyond it let's see if i could show you you're just going to put it just like right there i'm putting it right up against can you guys see that because my thing is bent it's causing a shadow See, there's that score line. You're going to just put it right to the right of it. You're not going to go one-eighth of an inch. You know, maybe one-sixteenth of an inch. Okay? That's like, what, a millimeter? And then what you're going to want to do is you're, the thing that you have to determine. Okay. I'm going to bring you in closer because you do have to see this. Okay. Right here, ooh, I gotta glue that down. You're gonna have like maybe, I mean, blue ruler. It's probably gonna be not even a quarter of an inch on both sides. Okay. It's gonna be about, um, One, two, three, sixteenths of an inch. Let me move and check this out. Coming back here to, to do this. One, two, three sixteenths. Almost, almost a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now, the lip here, when I've got this butt up against the line, not just against it, not on top of the score line now, 
you need to be very very careful and you probably want to use Fabri-Tac glue for this why because it allows for slippiness so you can still manipulate it while it's wet and then you can press it down and hold it and and it'll stick okay so if you don't have Fabri-Tac glue dear lord guide those hands <laughs> because you're gonna need to set it down if you're using I mean you can use double-sided tape but man that thing wants to stick like <laughs> you know no other okay so like okay so now that I butt this up against my line my score line it's just right to that right of it now okay so I've got about three sixteenths of an inch there yeah that's about three sixteenths of an inch okay this lip is going to be one two three four that's a quarter of an inch lip okay that's a quarter of an inch lip mine on this one let's see my little box wants to come out get back in there okay yep quarter of an inch Okay, so that's what you're going to look. Not a quarter of an inch. Yes, quarter of an inch. So each side, it's going to measure three sixteenths of an inch. So what three sixteenths of an inch is when you look at one eighth. I'm going to look at my. Let's see. I'm trying to give you an example. Okay, I don't even know if you can see this ruler. Oh, maybe. Nope. Can you see the scoreboard? Okay, yeah. Okay. We're starting at zero. Okay. Each line, score line, is an eighth of an inch. Okay, that's why they say, I want you to score at one and one eighth. So here's one inch and then one eighth over. Now, Three sixteenths of an inch is if you see you go one, you go one eighth of an inch in, and then in between the notch, in between each one, you can count and go one eighth, that's one, two, three sixteenths of an inch is right in that notch. So you go to one eighth and then one millimeter more. That's three sixteenths of an inch. Am I correct on that? Guys, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Don't let centimeter. So there's one. Hold on. One, two, three centimeters. Excuse me, not millimeters. Three, three centimeters. Right? Three centimeters. Okay, and that's that's the space. It's a it's a good space, you know, between the top and the bottom. And you don't want to end up with having a half inch, I mean a quarter of an inch here, because you don't want that to be floppy mopsy. Now mine is, because like I said, I'm out of craft card. This is pretty th thin, the, the file folder. Okay. File folder, and I used napkins. Had I used decorative paper this thing no problem easy piece I wouldn't be worried about the flipsy flopsiness of it okay I just wanted to make an ocean theme and I have no ocean themed decorative paper but only in napkins and that's why I now what I could have done in hindsight now was taken two of these glued it down then covered in napkins then I would have had no problem with this I still would have had problem with this because it's not thick enough, so that's why. I would have had three layers, okay? Two sizes of this glued together, and then this makes three layers, okay? It would have been a lot thicker, too. In hindsight, I didn't even think about it. I was just wanting to get it done, get her done, get her done. So now, watch me glue this down. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue. Okay. Ugh because I want wiggle room, okay? 
All right, now, here's my orientation. I have to make sure that I'm this, okay? This is going like this. Okay, and I'm going to apply quite, uh, my fingers can't even squeeze this bottle. I'm going to apply quite a bit, but I'm going to probably stay about a quarter of an inch inside this border around the thing, because when you start smushing this stuff, this likes to seep out, okay? And I don't like the way, the mess that it makes, because when it, it dries clear, but you can see the clear Fabri-Tac glue. Art glitter glue dries clear, but you can't, you won't see art glitter glue. It just disappears. That's what I love about art glitter glue. But I love this because I need it to wiggle. Make sure I get this into place. So I'm applying a good amount here, especially in the center. I need it to scooch and scooch and sketch. <laughs> scooch and sketch. <laughs> I know there's a saying. Scooch and sketch. Scooch, sketch and scooch. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Onward. Okay. So I'm going to have my my score line facing me. Ah! Okay. Alright then. This is what I'm going to do. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, my trusty little sparrow. Okay. Alright. I'm going to hold her down. Hold the fort down. Hold the fort down. Just so I can get this on. I'm going to, before I'm gauging this way and that way, making sure by eye that it's about three sixteenths of an inch. Getting it just beyond that line. Not on the score line, but just... Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Nope. This needs to go up. See? I can slide it up and down. I can slide it up and... Oh! Okay, my bird's got it. My birdie is going to get some glue on it, but no worries. I can clean them off. Okay. Just a tad bit. And I'm going to look and look on both sides. And see, and I'm, I haven't pressed it down yet. I'm just going to make sure. Because this is... I'm going to sketch, scooch it over there. Scooch it in over here. And I think I'm spot on. Yep, I sure am now. Okay, now, for those that have hand hand problem my block just being very careful oh because if I use that block on this it's gonna rip my paper now if you heard of Mod Podge you guys can Mod Podge it but I have found that if it's in the heat if your product is in the heat it gets sticky so I, don't, I trust Mod Podge to lay something down like a napkin okay I would use Mod Podge to lay it down I just didn't take it out but I wouldn't apply it on top of the napkin because like I said I'm going to use my see how it seeped out Ooh. seeped out so I just don't want it to I'm just going to take it up and just press the edges of the book down press 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 don't go pressing this way you want to keep straight up and down straight up and down straight up and down I hope you guys give this a go. It is very simple. And when when you do a lot of it, like I did years, when I say years ago, I, I sound like I'm saying 20 years ago. No, it's not 20 years ago. But, you know, when I started out in 2019, when I didn't have a whole lot of supplies, I started here, napkins, file folder, card craft. <laughs> and then um, I ventured out and got a, oh, Walmart has these big 12 by 12 pads, not, but, two-sided 
I bought them for five dollars. Now the double-sided one, you're going to pay like eleven dollars. So heads up, go to the, your Walmart Supercenter if you have a Supercenter. Okay, in their craft aisle. Okay, so and they have really good um, papers there. I think that's how I started there, and I made lots and lots and lots and lots of journals. You know, with my cereal boxes especially my cereal boxes. If you see the one on the face in the Facebook group at J Journal Depot, you'll see that 90th birthday one. That was a cereal box double layered into a photo album. Not a junk journal because it was a 90th party. It was a reunion because we never know. We may not see her again. So it was a huge to do and all and her daughter and her her son and daughter-in-law can fill it up it was gigantic okay it was probably you know the size of a Cheerios box the width and height it was that size <laughs> not the not the spine I made it a little bit no did I use the whole spine I think I did. I just cut the ends off, doubled it, covered it. I, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, so I think we're stuck. Really good. I think so. Okay, so there's one down. Second one to go. I can always cover that with napkin. No problemo. So we're going to put this one over here now. Okay, same situation. Glue, 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 glue. See, I can go up and down either way because all well, these guys are upside down. Couldn't help it. Uh, I should have thought better of the orientation, but the color is what I mainly wanted, the theme. The outside cover is what I wanted. Okay, so look at how beautiful. Ah, it's going to come out really good. I think I need to burnish the side a little bit more before I lay it down. Foam, foam, foam. Okay. Uh, here it is. I need this foam board because when I looked at it, if you could see, this is how I know. I'm going to line this up like this. This right here doesn't have much of a bend. It's still concave, so I'm going to have to manipulate that one a little bit. If you could see here, on this flip side, look at it. Look at how it bends naturally. This one hasn't. i gotta, I got to stress it out some more. Gotta do some more stressing. Okay, where did I see that? All these are good except for this upper corner right in here. So that's what you want to do. Don't crease it. Otherwise you're gonna end up with my mess on the other one. It won't it won't have this bend, okay? Oh, it's being pretty darn stubborn, isn't it? Let's see. See it? See how I took care of that? Just a tad bit more right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm abusing my tools. Andrew, I'm abusing my tools. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, they've got to be jewelry proof. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just like with jewelry. <laughs> I've never been the one into jewelry, except for a few pieces. Okay, now let's go put this down. And they have to be jewelry proof, except for this. This was an heirloom. This handed down from his mom to me. So, let's see. I want more of that color. Or more of that blue color and green. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, well, let's see. Okay, because this box is going to sit, like, right in there. Look at that. I don't think I want that. Look at it. Looks like too zebra-ish, so I'm going to have to turn it around. And see, this is way, what you can do. And look at your... Let's see if that's going to line up. Oh, oh, oh. 
Where is that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Do you see what I'm saying? Because of this bend, my box lines up perfectly. Look at that. Amazing. I was just too much of in a rush. Too much of a rush, rush. Ooh, well, you know what I could do? Hello, do this too, you guys. Maybe not, but just follow what I'm doing. It may just work out just like this. Then see, I don't... Oh, <laughs> twins. Look at that, twin mirrors. I guess so, I guess. I don't know if I like that, though. That's the bottom. I guess so. That's pretty cool looking at the top, right? Okay, so here's your line. <laughs> Let's just hope it works. If it doesn't work, don't do what I did. Okay, just do what I did previously. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have not had silly juice, okay? If everyone knows me, you know what my silly juice is. I know you do, Tracy. <laughs> uh, uh, my silly juice is vodka and cranberry juice. Yeah. And then, or I'll mix it in with Clamato. Oh my gosh. And you put some lime in it and Tabasco in it. Uh -huh. It is a spicy drink. And it's yummy. Okay. Remember, only about go to quarter of an inch because you don't want this oozing and come on just a little bit more behave just like that okay now we have the moment of truth and then we'll have to end the video because it's pretty long i can't believe it it's going to take forever okay so now i am going to bend my ooh, ooh, ooh wait wait ooh. get on there get on there I'm going to bend this. See, I'm going to line it up by that. And I'm going to lay this down just like this. Okay. Amazing love. This is amazing grace. You probably didn't want to hear that, guys. Okay, sorry. Okay, now I got wiggle room to move it just backwards to that line. Film your life so that I be set free. Okay, let's try it again. All that you've done for me. Come on, come on, so I can get you in place. Look at that, you guys. Perfecto, now I'm gonna press, press, press. Press, press, press. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can, I guess I can load this up. Two, um, it's an hour and 40 three minutes golly how on earth do i do it guys i don't know i mean you see me busy working right it's like i'm not pausing and talking a whole lot i mean yeah i'm not like just <laughs> jibber jabbering away i am but while i'm working you know it's like can you work and chew gum at the same time i guess not all right Or is it walk and chew gum? But in my case, I'm not walking. I'm working with my hands. Okay. Press, 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 press. For those that have wonky hands, for you men out there, well, there are some men out there that have wonky hands too. So do what I do. Use the tools, what you have, to push that in. Push it, push it. Push it. No, nope, that's going to rip my paper. Oh, like I said, if you want to use the Mod Podge, you can. It will protect and seal your paper 
your paper. Now, there's a product which is this right here. It's Multimat Medium by Ranger, but also, oh, where'd it go? It should be on my table, and I don't know why it's not on my table. Liquitex. I have Liquitex. It should have been up here. Anyway, okay. I don't have enough of this. I'm almost out. This would not have worked on this project. Okay. Now, I could have used my Liquitex, and I still can after everything is done. Liquitex medium, matte medium, will work. It'll, it'll seal your... Paper, paper na napkins, 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 okay? And it won't be sticky, okay? But it'll seal it. So I'm probably going to end up doing that. Now that I think of it, oh my gosh, it took me a minute there, huh? Okay. I have to just be very careful. No, nope, I'm not going to rip my paper. Not going to do it. Okay, guys. Moment of truth. Here we go. We're closing it, closing it, closing it. Get in there. Okay, now it's going to have a tendency to come open because of this curvature. Look, look, look. Now I'm going to have to... Well, no, no, because let's see. It should have been in there. Yeah, it does. And it's because this thing is... But I'm not going to create a crease in there. So, it's going to want to... It's going to want to... It's going to want to want to... It's doing it. It's wanting it. It's wanting to open. So, remedy. Remedy, remedy. Because I want... I mean, you can put that lip out there. That's what that looks like. Now that's lined up, you could do that, but I do this because I love this feature. Okay, you can just keep it like this, but you're going to have to create like a closure, like put an eyelet here, an eyelet, set an eyelet here, and then put a ribbon through it or a chain. For men, probably want to do chain, right? Um, or rope. Because I, this is fishing, you know, you're in a boat, you have rope, you have a life raft things like that. I'm using elements that are um, apropos to the theme, okay? I'm not going to put ribbon on here for my grandson, but I think I might use um, rope, like jute string. I won't use this kind of rope. That's too little foo-foo, I think, a little bit. I'm going to use the jute string that's on this and I'm going to learn how to tie a sailor's knot. I'm going to go in there and look and add it to this. So his feature is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to add some, I'm going to go to the fishing department if I ever get to Walmart and I'm going to add some hook lines and sinker type of stuff. Actually I'm going to put a present in there for him for that, you know, hidden under the little box that we're going to create and stay tuned. I'll do a quick tutorial on that once I get the measurements down exactly and do it one more time. And if it comes out right one more time, then I'm going to post it. Okay. All right, guys. I have to end here. It is an hour and 48 minutes. So if you think that I've left anything out of here, okay, shoot me a message, you know, in the Facebook group, again, at Jolette Edwards. The group name is Junk Journal Depot. Join, have fun, post your makes, please. I have Tracy that um, has, Tracy Hunt has posted her little backpack. Oh my God, it's absolutely to die for. It is beautiful, but post your makes here, okay? Because for first, excuse me, first timers in creating a box like this, or even newbies attempting it, You'll be surprised. Just post it because then it gives other people confidence. Okay? And if you want any of Arnie Mae's paper, you go visit her channel. She'll have a link in her description box of all her stores and where you can get freebies. You guys, she has tons of freebies. Go there. 
join and, and learn. I love her junk in the trunk. That is one of my favorite because you take little things like this and turn it into something like this. So, um, yeah, and there's Gail Augustinelli. Oh, Gail Augustinelli. Wendy's, Leo and Wendy's. Is it Leo and Wendy's or we on Wendy's and Leo's Adventures? There's Roxy Creations. Um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. There's Tracy at Tracy Fox. Um, Gail Gustinelli. I'll put all their names down below in the link. That way you guys have got to go look. And they do offer freebies. But I know that Andrea is really good at just putting them out there. So whatever you're designing, go look at the freebies and see if you might use something that needs something for your journals. And for those that are new that don't have supplies, go there and grab some. Get some freebies and watch her jump in the trunk and just watch her. I mean, she was instrumental in get, building my courage to get my hands dirty, to get my paints out and not be afraid to make a mistake because you can turn them into happy mistakes. So go, go, go and enjoy her and others. And if I remember others, there's Eva at Bohemian Crafters. Um, those were like the main ones that I would just, I do, I haven't been, and I, I need to, I need to see what they're all creating. I have them like little Facebook feeds, but I haven't been, I've just been super busy trying to get a lot of this done to go to Kentucky to get, bear gifts, bring gifts for my grandbabies as a memorabilia to, from Nanny, because I'm probably not going to be able to see them the whole school year after, you know, so this is my opportunity to give them something. Look at my... See, so I used Uhu. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And I put a lot of it. And look at my napkins coming up. If I use the, the cheap, cheapo Elmer's, you know, washable glue, that thing just does not come up. Look at that. Okay. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you guys l like my content, please give me a thumbs up. Um leave me a comment or just thumbs up really and subscribe to my channel and share it uh youtube obviously does their little algorithm by the, the thumbs up thingy so if you give me a thumbs up then they recognize it and then they put me i'm hoping to be in the recommended category so that way i'm out there so more people to see the video so anyway all right this is the fisherman's journal for my grandson <clears throat> I'll pop in once it's all decorated. I'll show you what uh, how I pizzazzed his up. I don't want to say frou-frou, but I will pizzazz my jazz this up. Okay, guys. Thanks again. I appreciate all of you, and goodbye.